Hi, welcome to Brady's Blunders, where I show you the mistakes in my games, hoping you don't make the same ones in yours. And today's video should be pretty quick. It's a continuation of the same game that I've been doing for the last several, uh, and this is the brutal and miserable end. All right, uh, the game isn't going well for me. Uh, you know, this incredible wall had an influence on the rest of the game. Actually, I made some unreasonable territory on the left. It shouldn't have happened. But uh, look at this shape up top. And just stronger players will look at this and go, oh, that shape's not possible. How, how did that even happen? And or, or even worse, they'd say, that's not go. And they'd be absolutely right. Yeah, I can't believe I did that one. I'm not going to talk about it. If you want to if you want to see how that happened, you're going to have to look at the, uh, the game file, which may be linked down below um, in uh, the video information. But uh, all right, let's get on to how I managed to finally lose the game in the end. So uh, with my last move, I basically made life on the bottom, and uh, this is where Black gave me a chance, because Black got a little bit greedy. Uh, and I'm not sure if Black thought he was counterattacking or just saving the stone, but uh, he played this way. And at this point, his group doesn't have eyes yet. Um, I've captured the corner here, and this Black stone is dead. Um, and uh, he's got eye potential, but no eyes yet. So uh, I came out this way, which was good, and this way, which was good, and I continued. I'm going to separate him from his strong wall to the right. And then black played here. So this is the game problem. If you were white, where would you play next? Go ahead and pause if you like. I'll wait here for you. Okay. I played a really bad move, and I'm wondering if you've looked at the board and seen the danger, because all I did is I looked at the board and I saw the opportunity, and uh, I was quite excited that, all right, he's built one eye, but uh, now I'm going to be able to force him towards my panuki over here, right? Um, so I played down here, uh, and he defended, and I didn't think he'd give up the three stones, uh, based on how he just played. Um, and then I played here. And so I'm thinking, right, he's only got one eye and I'm gonna drive him towards the Panuki. But what I didn't do is check my weaknesses first. My intuition said, no, I'm totally fine, right? This black stone is captured um, and I've got a lot more stones in the area, so I'm totally fine. And, uh, or to use the phrase I used in a much earlier video, my spider sense didn't tingle and it really let me down here because this position is just full of Aji. This is a textbook example of Aji. And, uh, and Black played here and started to exploit it. So please note, now he's haunted on both sides of my two stones. All right. um, I went and connected here and felt, all right, I'm connected. But already, uh, I'm in trouble. And uh, already, the Aji has, has cost me. I just don't see it yet. Uh, my opponent played this way, and, and I did my double Hane, and I'm like, yes, I'm crushing you. I'm driving you towards my Panuki, and where are your eyes? And I, I was very confident at this moment. And then my opponent played here. Of course, I connected. And then he pulled out his trap. And... Obviously, if this stone is dead, as I said it was, then I can just play here and kill it. But when black turns this way, it's an Atari. And if I connect, then he can play here. And I've just completely collapsed. Uh, well, at least I'm able to read that far, I guess. So once the trap is triggered, uh, oh, I'm not going to fool me anymore. Uh, and I was able to defend this side and at least not lose the whole group. But then once black played this, it, it's, it's even worse because of my lack of liberties. I needed to, to help this group. So I actually gave away the corner in Gote. And what that means is now black is completely alive, right? He's got the corner. He's got an eye here. So black is completely alive. Uh, I've had to go back and help myself. And even worse, 
the A and B stones are close to useless, right? They were meant to be uh, severely attacking double Hane, but now, you know, if Black wants to attack them now, we can, but at some point, I'm probably going to have to go back and help them. So having played A and B, uh, there, there's no point. They serve no function on the board as it is right now, and the game is effectively over. And so that's what this video is about, is, is Aji. And, you know, I embarked on this really severe attack because I thought I was safe. And I made the assumption, because I had more stones, I was safe. But if I could read, or if I chose to read just a few moves ahead, I would have seen that there's a real problem there. And the correct answer for white is, before taking away all these eyes, fix my own problem first, make sure my own house is in order. And as soon as I get this extension, now there's nothing that black can do to hurt me. Uh, black probably needs to continue to run towards the center. Now I can come back and play this move, taking away his eye shape. And at this point, it's not clear that I can kill black. Right? If, if you read it through, it's not, not a sure thing. So I'm probably best off playing somewhere else, playing a big move, and hope, hoping that I can make the battle spill over uh, uh, so it does affect this. So come out over here. Maybe I'll get a stone in this area at some point, and then I'll be able to push on and drive him and kill him. Uh, and if Black wants to make sure that can't happen, then I'm perfectly content if he wants to come back and, and make sure he's alive. Because uh, now he's, he's spent two moves just barely living. And this would be a perfectly good result for white. So, theme of this episode, um, <sighs> make sure your shape is solid before you embark on that attack. And definitely, definitely, definitely look for Aji. And this shape right here with this black stone here, uh, man, now it's really obvious to me and it should have been really obvious to me then that uh, this is uh, an eye point, it's just nasty, and allowing Black Tahane here, well, obviously, as you saw, everything fell apart, and I didn't read it out, and I guess that's the other lesson. Read, 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 and you want to get good at it? Do Sumego. Do reading problems. Anyway, it's all about the Aji. I'll see you next time.